Did you notice what I noticed today? That it was warm? <laughs> it's been warm for a few days. When I got home, I looked up and I was like, oh, there's leaves. Oh, yeah. And I hadn't really noticed. Like, I noticed buds the other day, mm -hmm. but it's like all of a sudden leaves are just there. Yeah. It's like one day you have no leaves on the trees, and the next day you look up and there's just leaves everywhere. Yeah. I and mean, that's I the did, real true sign of summer. I did vaguely notice that. Spring. Um, But also a good sign that spring has sprung, the bugs have returned. You said a good sign? No, just another sign. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, you said a good sign, though. Oh, you said I just meant... Another good sign. I don't think a good sign is when the mosquitoes come back out. I mean, I saw the big mosquitoes. I haven't seen the little ones yet. I don't know. I think I got bit last night Ooh. moving the new bed in. But um, at, when you were moving the new bed in, a big old bug of something came in. I don't mm. know. It was weird. It had, like, big antennas and, like, a thick little body and wings. I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> well, this is the more God lets me, or no, it's not. <laughs> wow, I messed myself up. My name is Justin. <laughs> and I'm Labry. And this is the Better Together podcast. The more God lets me podcast is the other podcast yeah. that I do every week. Which you can check out on every Monday. It comes out. So be sure to go back and listen to those because they are great. Yeah, I guess it's where I recorded so early for that podcast that I haven't really, like I'm used to have recording this week for mm -hmm. that podcast and I've not done that. Yeah. And so it feels a lot different for sure. Yeah. It totally threw me off yesterday when you were like, no, I don't have to record. I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? What do you mean you don't have to record? Like, what are you doing? It's Monday. Yeah. I wish I had two extra days off every week. Yeah. The that'd things be nice. that I could accomplish if that was the case, mm -hmm. especially now that it's becoming spring, now that we're able to be outside mm -hmm. and all those fun things, like definitely wish I had that time. Yeah. It would be absolutely lovely. Yeah. For us as a family. <laughs> That's really what I talk about in the Easter video is like I'm getting all this stuff done so that way I can actually enjoy Easter weekend yeah. and be able to have like a fun Saturday and things like that. And so mm -hmm. definitely check out our vlog channel. We've got a lot of content coming out. Mm -hmm. I recorded three videos over the length of this, of this Easter weekend. weekend. Yeah. So like a lot of stuff's going to be coming out pretty soon, which I'm looking forward to. I've got dog hair all over my knee. How does that even happen? I don't know. Dog hair and cat hair is just everywhere. It is everywhere. Like no matter how much we clean, it's just everywhere. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't know what I did though to get it on me. Kneeling down on the on the carpet, getting that new bed together. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. In the room that used to be the animal room. Yep. But now that we're having another child, kind of has to switch everything around. Yep. Now the now the dog and the cat don't have their own room anymore. <laughs> they have been banished from the bedroom. And they are forced to live in the living room. Yeah. The dog's taking it pretty well. Yeah. She loves it. The cat is not so sure. Yeah. But cats are like that. Thankfully, we've been slowly transitioning the litter box out over time. Mm -hmm. And so I don't think that's going to be that big of an issue. Yeah. But it's still like a little bit nerve wracking. And he still definitely wants to be in that room. But the good news is, is that our son is going to move into what that room is yep. and the new baby is going to go into our son's old room. Mm -hmm. And so ultimately the cat's not going to want to be in there because it kind of wants to avoid our son. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to be honest. Small children love hard and cats don't enjoy that. Cats are not a big fan of being loved hard. That's not really <laughs> their thing. Yeah. They like love from afar. Yeah. Cats are like, I want you to not want me. And that's <laughs> when I'm going to come love you. I don't, I don't like this whole you coming after me thing. Yeah. <laughs> and that's definitely where our son's at. I'm going to come after you mm -hmm. and you don't have an option. Yes. You will love me. <laughs> <laughs> but. but speaking of babies and all this stuff, uh -huh. if you have followed along um, on the vlog channel, you should know, right? Yeah. It's already come out. You should know our big reveal. We're having a girl. We're having a girl. It's so exciting. Um, we asked the Lord for a boy and a girl, and now we have them. Yeah, I it's it's both exciting and a little bit like freaky at, at yeah. the same time because like I didn't grow up with sisters, <laughs> like I only have a brother, and so the idea of having a girl, it was like until I have until I was actually for sure having yeah. a girl, it was like this is great, and then once you find out you're actually having, you're like, oh man, like. What's that going to be like? Yeah. <laughs> All the sass that comes with little girls. Well, I'm already thinking like 18 years later, yeah. I'm like, I'm going to have to deal with boys. <laughs> like, this is not going to be fun. <laughs> You're already planning ahead to lock her up. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm like, nope, mm-mm. you're not allowed to Cinder go outside. Uh, taekwondo. <laughs> yeah, yes. Now that's what we talked about a while back, and I was serious. It's mm-hmm. like if I'm gonna have a girl, I'm gonna make sure that she's trained in how to defend herself. Yep. And so that's a hundred percent on the agenda. Is that little girl is definitely getting trained in some form of martial arts self defense class because it's if just not multiple. You know, it's just, sadly, it's what you need to do mm-hmm. in this world nowadays in yeah. order to make sure that your child's safe. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, it's sad to say, but boys are less likely to be attacked. Yeah. Uh, girls are much more likely. So just making sure that she knows how to defend herself is big on our priority list. Well, and it's like, like if he, if he wants to do classes, mm-hmm. oh, that's fine. Yeah. But as for the girl, it's like, no, I really think that it's best for you mm-hmm. <laughs> in the world that we live in, as sad as it is. Yeah. But it's just what it is. Yeah. And so, but but I'm not going to live my life worrying about those things, mm-hmm. but you do want to be prepared about those things. Yeah. So that's not the stuff that I've worried about a whole lot, but it's more of just like, wow, I'm going to have a girl. And then it's like, what's that going to be like? And then there's going to be like emotions. Lots of emotion. It's going to be so much different, you know? Yeah. And I grew up in a household. I had older brother, younger sister. We had uh, girl cousins that were close by. Mm -hmm. Uh, There were always other kids around. So, like, I had both. But (laughs) So, I mean, it's going to be pretty normal for me. But on the side of being a parent, that's going to be a lot different because potty training. (laughs) Yeah. I'm already there. I'm like, I potty trained a boy. (sighs) That was fine. That was easy. Because, like, if he had to really pee in an emergency, I could stop on the side of the road and let him pee. <laughs> I can't do that with a girl. No. Well, that's <laughs> And stuff... I don't want to, like, carry around a little tiny kid potty or something. No, that's like, weird. So That stuff be... worries me as a dad, too, though. And we were talking about it at work because another guy at work just had a girl. And it was like, well, well you know, what, what do you do when they have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> you know, as far as, like, as a guy taking them to the bathroom. Yeah. Because, like, it's normal seeming for, like, girls or women to take little girls to the bathroom mm-hmm. or little boys to the bathroom. Yeah. But then, like, when you're the dad taking the little girl into the men's room, you just feel more awkward about mm-hmm. it. You Especially know? Especially because so. urinals and things. And... Well, it's just, and it's just a different environment. I don't know. Yeah. It just feels weird. And so you're like, well, but then I told him, too. I was like, well, at some point you're going to have to. Yeah. Because at some point you're going to be out with just you and her and... Mm-hmm. There's not going to be another option. You yep. know, you're going to have to take her to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of places have family bathrooms now, which is what somebody commented when we were talking at work. And yeah. it was like, that's true, but not everywhere. Not everywhere. Not a lot of the, like the normal stores that we go to. So like Walmart doesn't have that. I think Walmart does in the back. I think Walmart, the front bathroom yes, does not, but in the, right. in the back they do. In the back they do. Yeah. But, but other places, like Tractor, tractor Supply, supply Rural King. Those places that we frequent. <laughs> yeah. And then even like the mall normally has a family bathroom, but then at, there's always somebody in it. Yeah. You know. And a lot of times it's not a family. Like. <laughs> yeah. Well, then the question arises, though, like, at what age do you stop taking kids to the bathroom? Oh. Especially like a dad with a girl. I feel yeah. like that happens earlier potentially than like a mom with a boy. But I don't, yeah. I don't know. Well, girls I never mature thought faster. It. So, like, I kind of get why maybe you would, the girls, you would send them on their own a little bit earlier. But I see a lot of women still taking young boys into the women's restroom. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really common. um, And no one thinks anything of it. But that'll be weird. Yeah. Broaching that. I think it's more weird on my side. but Yeah. Yeah, But, I mean, it's still weird to think about because I... I don't know when, like, I would just be okay with sending him, even at church. And, like, we feel very safe and secure in our church. We have great security. Everyone watches out for everyone. But I don't feel good sending him into the restroom just by himself. No, not as little as he is right now. (laughs) Well, who knows what he would do in there? Yeah. That's the issue right now. I don't know when that age will come where I'll be like, yeah, yeah, you could just go to the bathroom by yourself. I don't. I see some young kids run around and like they're going out to go to the restroom by themselves and just walking around by themselves. I don't know that he will be allowed to. Technically, they're not supposed to do that. Yeah. But it does happen for sure. Mm-hmm. But I don't, I, I just always like having my eyes on my kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it'll be weird. 
Yeah, but you cried the other day. I did. At the store, buying girls' clothes. Mm-hmm. Yep. These uh, hormones with this pregnancy, they've been outrageous. Because it's not the first time I've cried about stuff. But, I mean, this is the first time it was related to, like, it being Because it was the day that we found out. Kid. Um, that it was a girl. Yeah, because one of the first times I cried was when you told me that not only could I make that blanket for that one family uh, for the baby shower gift, but then you said I could also buy diapers and wipes and a little Easter basket to put it all in and make it cute. I cried about that. Um, yeah, so that was a pain. But then after we found out, like, I was all fine in the appointment and whatnot. I was like, woo, girl, yeah, we're happy. And I was fine while we went out to eat and all this stuff. But then we go to, like, buy things. Like, we went and bought outfits. We bought uh, some other stuff for the reveal. And I cried checking out at the counter. <laughs> and they, <laughs> I like I knew I felt it starting and I could like tell and I was like, Who are these hormones? Like, they're rough. And uh they're like, Oh, you're pregnant? I was like, Yeah. And we just found out it's a little girl and then like it just started. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm glad I'm the boy. And like I had to take a few minutes before I could come find you at the other store. I was wondering <laughs> it did feel like because we me and our son walked over to the store next door mm-hmm. to look at it when you went to check out. And I like I'm like I mean, she was right there at the register. Like, I don't feel like she should have had a very long thing. <laughs> now I'm sad I wasn't with you because I would have totally pulled the camera out. Uh, I'm like, why are you crying? No. I'm, I'm glad I did that off camera and away from you. <laughs> I was nice enough to share that with you, but you keep bringing it up. <laughs> I want to make sure that we can remember this for the rest of our lives. Bro. But if I... Think about if your mom told you that story, you know, 20 years later. You'd be like, oh my gosh, that was so touching. Mm. Now we're going to have it recorded. It's always going to be mellow. multiple places. In multiple places. <laughs> That's the thing. We're leaving a legacy behind for our children to not go back and watch. Because <laughs> I highly doubt that they will. <laughs> I mean, the girl probably will. We're weird like that. We do. We like to go back and watch. Maybe. I don't know that he'll care. <laughs> Honestly. I don't, I don't know. It's all time will tell and we'll never know. I mean, you would totally go back and watch stuff. So, I mean, maybe he'll be like you and want to go back and watch things. But mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. We'll have to find out. Um, but, yeah, I'm super excited to be having a girl. Uh, I had asked God for this way back when, and he came through. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, when we were having our first child, I was kind of hoping it was going to be a girl. But then after we had him, mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I think it made way more sense to have a boy first. Yeah. Like that, if if you get your choice, I think it makes sense to like break through a lot of barriers with the boy and mm-hmm. then the girl comes along. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I have an older brother and a younger sister, but I just like that model of having an older brother, like it's a protector, you know, someone yeah. um, to watch out for the little sister and things, even though that's not how my household went he was a little troublemaker but we're doing our best with this one like we are trying with all our might to make sure Mm -hmm. um but i just always like that dynamic and like you see it in other families and stuff where there's an older boy and a younger girl and i just always had it in my mind and i was praying for a boy with him and got my boy and i prayed and i got my girl you should be praying about some more stuff. Like, there's a lot of other issues in our world that need to be handled today. If you've got this kind of close connection where you're able to make things happen, you know. Listen, this was time spent. So, I mean, it's hard work. So, there's other things, but the Lord takes his time on this. <laughs> well, either way, I'm super excited to have a girl. But now it brings up, like, the whole arguments and things like that. Because now we're fighting over, like, what should the room look like yeah. and what colors and things like that. And the sad thing is, is that I'm pulling for a girlier room than you are. I don't think you're pulling for more traditional, like, pinky peach. I don't want you. Okay. You bet. Because you keep saying pink. Because it, when you look at peach, it's still kind of pink. It's a little bit pink, but it's also kind of orangey, muted color. So it's not over the top, but it's just a little girl color. It's a fun color. I've never been a fan of pink. So that's probably my issue. Is I, I'm just not the biggest fan. But it's a little girl's room. I know, but you can still have girly. You can't paint it green and be like, it's a, my little girl's room, or blue. The different shades. No. Make it feminine or masculine. 
No. Yeah. The picture you showed me with different drapes could have gone either way. That's just what your style is, is the new style where everything is just neutral. It We're wasn't almost neutral. Every- it yes, was it was. Earthy and floral. It was, that's neutral. No, floral. Neutral you had beige. floral wallpaper. Well, the picture you showed me would not work. We don't have fancy walls where they're like, you know, all trimmed halfway up and then turned to paint where you could put wallpaper up. So basically the choice is are we going to have green walls or you not? You have to do full green. You could do a bottom half and have a small little like uh, chair rail is what they call it. Yeah, until you go look at how much it costs and the fact that we don't have a miter saw. And then you'll be like, yeah, I don't actually want to do that. So we've got to look at just a base color, probably an accent wall, and then have three walls that are probably like a creamy white. And if you have three creamy right walls, no matter what shade of green you pick, when you walk in there, you're going to be like, this is a girl's room. But if you pick a peach color, it's a soft, orangey, lightly, you know, salmon pink in there a little bit. It's going to be like, oh, this is a nice little girl's room. It's bright and airy. It's fun. Uh, I think it can still be girly and, like, you can have pink curtains. Like, I don't know that the walls have to be pink. Or peach, you know, whatever. One wall. Mm-hmm. I didn't say every wall. No, all, this is the only room that I've ever been in where I'm like, I like all the walls being colored. <laughs> but most of the time, I don't want all the walls being like a very defined color. Mm-hmm. Like we did paint like our um, living room areas, like some kind of bluish green. It's a green. It's a very, very, very faint green. But it's so faint that it's almost white. Yeah. To where like you have to really pay attention to notice that it's a color. Yeah. But that's not any other color that you would choose as like a baby room want to point out the color color. Yeah. But I don't know. We're going to have to look at some stuff. <laughs> She's not going to want to come to my side. <laughs> I'm just going to make you leave and I'm going to paint one day and be like, I already spent the money. It's on the wall. Here we go. I'd like to, uh, the only things that you've painted really is the living room area. I painted the bathrooms. I did 99% of No, it. you did not. I sure felt like I did. You had to come back and touch some stuff up, but we did a lot of that. I do most of the painting. Because we painted the whole rooms on a Friday and a Saturday. And then you came back on a Monday and touched the paint up. I mean, you primed, but I feel like I did all the colors. No. We primed one day and we came back the next day and did the colors. This is the problem that you have when you get married is that <laughs> one person remembers it one way. That's why if that one commercial was real, that's why it hit home so the hard replay. where you had the replay <laughs> button. Because it's like, I remember I took off early on a Friday so we mm-hmm. could come prime yeah, everything. I feel like you and Ben talked about it. Ben did not paint. No. No, I'll give you that. <laughs> um, he was super fun to have around and whatnot and made it all go well, but he didn't paint. So. I feel like you ended up chatting with him a lot, and I did a lot of the painting. <laughs> that is not true. Now, the next That's day, how I feel whenever we had to move happened. the stove and the fridge, mm-hmm. that one did shift a little bit more on you. Yeah. But still, anyways, it's not that I don't have the ability to paint. I know. You can paint, but you don't really. Nobody wants to paint. Nobody's like, you know what I want to spend my day doing? Painting some walls. But if it means getting in my way, then I'm all about painting some walls. <laughs> and I got to rethink um, if I want to change the configuration of the bedroom any. Mm-hmm. Because I've changed how his uh, room had been set up a few times uh, throughout the process. But I won't redo in the room and whatnot. I'm going to have to figure out if I want to keep it that same layout. Probably not because as little as they want to pull on curtains. And you'll be able to access it through that side. So I'll probably have to move the bed back to where it was before. Mm -hmm. And just rethink all that. Yeah. Well, either way, I think that my color's better. (laughs) You literally bought outfits that matched the color palette that I picked. I know. But it's an outfit. Not a room. I don't have to have it. In my face every single day. I must spend a lot of time in that room. Um, I don't know if I wanted that pink. <laughs> it's not pink. 
Oh my gosh. It's still, it's a pink. It's a pink. It's a shade of pink. It is an orangey pink. Orangey. Pink. Light. <laughs> <laughs> now, I will say, I continued to look up various paints and stuff um, after we talked about it. And there is like one or so, one or maybe, I think it's just the one Don't pull your that phone. I liked. The thing yeah. about it is. One is- that I liked that was okay. But then finding if you do just that, if you do that wall in that color, because it's such a light color, then you have to find a good coordinating mm-hmm. white or cream, whatever. But there's still probably have to be some sort of design or something somehow. So one of us I like all the little to... name things, but I'd like somebody else to buy it because I'm sure yeah. they're expensive. Well, uh, my sister got his, and I'm sure. Well, that... but these were like I like the ones where they were like oh the cut out. Name. Okay. Or, yeah, and they weren't on anything because it was just like okay. the, that was cool. Yeah, just the cutout. Those are neat. Those can get expensive. Yeah, I'm sure they can. Mm-hmm. I gotta stop touching the microphone and everything. <laughs> I have a problem. Oh, you're just very fidgety. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, I don't know what the problem is. And it's not caffeine related because you don't have any of it. Ever. Yeah, I think it's tired related. This uh, is my body trying to stay awake. That could very well be it. <laughs> honestly. Um. But yeah, and then in all of this room stuff, baby's going to get uh, our son's crib, which I'll have to turn from a toddler bed back to a crib. Um, and then we have to get new sheets and sheet protector, mattress protectors, and all this stuff for the new bed for him. And it opens up a whole bunch of stuff to buy. <laughs> But we got the bed for free, and we got yeah. a dresser for free, and so like two of the major things we thought we were gonna have to buy, we don't have to buy anymore. Yeah, and which that is awesome. saves a lot of money. Yeah. Um, biggest issue is if we're redoing the floors. I think we will. It's just such a pain. It is a pain, but I think it'll look nicer in the end. Yeah. Well, I th- well, obviously, yeah. <laughs> you can't you can't not be better than the carpet we currently have. It's just a lot of work. But it yeah, especially after we put that bed together on top of it. Yeah, that was kind of a mistake, but I also wanted to just make space in that room. Mm-hmm. Because I'll, with the flooring, which I didn't think about, is that fact that you have to buy it f- and let it sit in the room for 48 hours before you use it and all you that. let it accumulate. And you're not allowed to pick up heavy things anymore. And so um, that means that I'll have to go get it, load it all, and then bring it home and bring it all in and then let it sit. And so it's probably not going to I mean, I can make people load it. Like being a woman, that's very doable. People just, you ask and they will. It's great. We're not going to do that. <laughs> but it just means that I probably won't put the flooring down this week. Like mm-hmm. I had thought about it. It'll probably be a little bit later when I actually do that. Oh, I just realized that this other light's been on the whole time. Oh, no. Which I normally turn off. Oh. I wondered why there was a big glare on the back and why it was so extra bright. Yeah, I wondered why we looked different than normal. I was like, that doesn't seem right on the video podcast. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, it's because we don't have the lighting set up right. There yeah, we go. We're about halfway through the podcast and we realized. Yeah, then we noticed, oh. <laughs> oh, and we don't have our little spotlight on. Yeah, well, it's fine. Man, we were in a rush today. We wanted to get down here and get this going because um, there's been a lot going on, obviously, as you've heard. We've done tons of videos this weekend and whatnot so there's been a lot i think everything's always like that it's just like i i have the whole studio set up and all those things and you're like this is going to make it easier and it's like it does make it easier but it doesn't make it flawless yeah and all all that stuff like the only way to be flawless is if i just never moved anything but like we have a different camera angle today yep. than what we had had last week because i took one of the tripods upstairs forgot to bring it down and so i was like well i'm not going back up there i'm just going to yeah. use this other this other system that we have and then, you know, if I never moved the cameras and I just left everything where it was, it'd be super easy to come down here and yeah. record. But that's not practical. No. And especially with the equipment, because we use the laptop here. We use it upstairs. We use it on the go. We use our cameras. Like, yeah. For normal stuff, not just doing podcasts. Um, so, I mean. It'd be pretty cool if we were in that vein of just like. Being able to yeah. do these things and like just, just all we have to do is just like have this stuff set here. You just flick it on, use it, and then you're good to go. Yeah, but we're not financially there. No. So <laughs> things have multi purposes. Everything has a purpose. 
the only thing that stays is all the audio video stuff like that's on this. Yeah. Because all of the is... microphones and stuff, they can stay. They're one use because what yeah. else would you do with this stuff? Mm -hmm. And that's nice. So I don't have to move any of that stuff around. But everything else definitely gets moved still. Yep. Very frequently. Um, anything else we got to say about the girl situation before we completely stop going on that? I don't think so. Okay. Now that I can think I'm of right now. I'm excited to shop. I am. I want to go shopping for. I'm not excited for this. <laughs> Little boy clothes are. It's very hard to find cute stuff for little boys. So it was a struggle, and I didn't really have the opportunity to buy much for him because there just wasn't a lot of cute stuff. I don't feel like that's the truth, but I don't know. There's 20 times more cute things for girls. Maybe things that you find cute. But I see this is the difference between me and you, though. It's like you're like, oh, these things aren't cute because you don't want to dress a kid like a kid. And even like with a little girl, like we believe in modesty and those things and skirts and dresses and stuff. But it's like I don't want everything she wears to be like she's going to church or like she's dressing up or like she's about to have her picture made. Like they should be able to have fun, enjoyable clothes to wear. And the same thing with like a little boy. It's like I like graphic T-shirts on our son because it's just him being fun. But it doesn't only need Little blue jeans downs. and stuff, like, that's fine. And, but it's a lot harder to find dress clothes. So, like, cute dress clothes for little boys that are in a decent price range. <laughs> like, that's hard. If you want to spend money, you can find some stuff. But if you want to keep things affordable, it's a lot harder mm -hmm. to buy for boys. Unless you're buying just a graphic shirt and blue jeans. I feel like we have a lot of really nice clothes for him that weren't that expensive that are dress clothes. Yeah, but we were given a lot of stuff. That's even better. <laughs> like, I don't want to have to buy a bunch of stuff but when people are willing to give it to you. There's very few things that I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. He needs to have it. But you go around looking for little girl stuff and you could see things that you'd be like, oh my gosh, if I had a little girl, that'd be so cute. Let me just get that. It'd be, it's a lot easier. Okay. But I shop for people a lot more. I don't have anything to add to clothes. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I got for that. I'm just super excited for shopping. No. I am. Mm -hmm. I am. I've already saved a ton of outfits that I want to get. But I'm going to be responsible. Yeah. Because, you know, but I do want to buy things. And headbands and little cute frilly socks. I'm excited. No. I want to make things. I don't really have anything I can put in this conversation that's constructive. <laughs> I'm good now. I'm good. I don't have, well, you took me off my other vein, so you've got I'm to sorry. put us back on track for something. Um, We're really busy, like, coming up, because we want to have a yard sale to be able to recoup some of the money that we're going to be spending now to redo these rooms and whatnot. Mm -hmm. We have a ton of stuff we can get rid of and can sell, but we're trying to find a nice weekend to do it. Yeah. It's pretty much impossible. Like, you just have to force yourself into it because we have this weekend that could be okay, but then it's so short notice. Like, we have to go through all the stuff to figure out what's actually stuff that needs to be sold and what needs to be kept with yeah. decoration. Well, this is just you have plans and things like that. And then this weekend, though, the weather is not going to be good. And so it's just hard to cold, find that yeah. balance between good weather and time and stuff. And I'm sure we'll figure that out. The real issue is that, like, honestly, at this point in where we're at in the world, like, we used to give a lot of stuff away to, yeah. like, thrift shops and stuff. But I've gotten to a point now where thrift shops have gotten so greedy and as far as, like, they are wanting to charge outrageous amounts of money for mm -hmm. things that you could go buy the same thing at the store for, like, a few dollars more. Or the same price. Well, yes, like we've seen, seen things at the same price, like, that are used that you could just go buy brand new at Walmart mm -hmm. for the exact same price. The exact same item. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I think... Still I've has a price tag on it. I've seen stuff from the Mainstays brand, like, of cooking things at Walmart for more than what they cost at Walmart. Like at, at, at the at the thrift at the, store, yeah. the mainstays Walmart brand is they have stuff at the thrift store more than what it costs to just buy it at Walmart. Yeah, so that doesn't make any sense. And so, like, I've got to a point where I just don't want to do that. So I'd rather just sell the stuff, recoup the funds, and be able to do things with that mm -hmm. money either charitably or just to have that money yeah. 
and but, sell people sell it cheaper. Like honestly, like I've got mm-hmm. a toaster oven over here that we would be selling. I'm literally like, that's five dollars. That's what I was thinking. You know what I mean? Like, I, or like if I've got shirts, like we've got clothes that mm-hmm. we want to get rid of, I'll sell them for a dollar. Yeah. Because then that person's getting a better deal for me than they would now at a thrift store. Yeah. Which is just ridiculous. I know it's awful. I hate it so much because going to thrift stores used to be so fun because you could find those deals. You could find some neat stuff for a really good price. And it really actually helped the community and the people. And now they're like, well, we just want the donation money so we can go do what we actually think we should be doing. It's like, Mm -hmm. well, half the reason that you're here is you got this stuff for free to give other people the opportunity to get good deals on stuff. Mm -hmm. And now you're charging outrageous amounts. And like, we've spent a lot of time shopping at thrift stores, Mm -hmm. but we never buy like, Things that you can tell, oh, you know, somebody could really use this. Yeah. Even clothes, when you walk into a thrift store and there's like 50 racks of clothes, it's yeah. not like you're taking things out of somebody else's hand yeah. as much. But it's just like the idea of even people who really do need a deal can't even go down there now and get a good deal. Yeah. You look at shoes. It's like worn out pairs of shoes. And like, I don't buy shoes really at the thrift store. Mm-hmm. But like you go look at them and it's like they want $30 for a pair of used shoes. Yeah. It's crazy. You just go on, there's a website called Slick Deals. Mm-hmm. Go on Slick Deals, set an alert for shoes, and you can get brand new shoes. Like, you can get nice shoes sometimes yeah. for like 10 or $20, mm-hmm. you know? And it's just incre- it's incredible to me. And But the sad truth is that people don't know any better. Yeah. And you see that, like, you see stuff move. Because, like, we go check. We still hope to find the good deal yeah. at the thrift stores in our town. But you go in there, and you see things gone that you knew are like, that was overpriced. Yeah. And people are buying it. Like, I don't know. And I, we've been in there at times and people are buying things that we've seen that were crazy. And we're like, I really should tell them that that's not a good deal. Yeah. Like, I feel like they're getting ripped off. Like, this is bad. Yeah. So that's why we don't really donate. And that's why it's like, I can offer people a better deal on this stuff Mm -hmm. than what you're going to get if I gave it to a thrift store. Yeah. And like, if we do donate, we are donating to a person now. Because a lot of times with our. Yeah, that's true. Our son's clothes. Like, I pass along some stuff to other families. Um, We have a friend that has three boys, but two of them are younger than our son. So I've passed along clothes to her. And she, there's some of them that I've marked that I would like returned and things. But other things I'm like, you just keep, you get passed along to someone else. All that gets to leave now. Yeah. (laughs) Because you were saving it in case we had another boy. Mm -hmm. We're not having another boy. All these clothes can leave my house. All the boxes and boxes and boxes of clothes. You're because, like, well, this I might need this. It's yeah. like there's a lot of stuff we might need. Well, if we did have another boy, it would have been real handy. Well, it worked out. So, so now we can pass all that stuff along, and that's true. Like kids' clothes and stuff like that, definitely. Like we try to help out families in the church and give a lot of that stuff away. Mm-hmm. And toys have been passed around. Yeah. Even like the women, often you guys will pass stuff oh, around yeah. and offer things to each we'll other pass first. Clothes uh, to each other. Like if I have stuff that I have outgrown um myself or just tired of i'm like hey this should fit you do you want it and pass along to other women and they've done the same thing and like sometimes if we find something super cheap we'll buy it for the other because we know it's their style or whatever and it's a great community of girls that i've got yeah. nobody mm-hmm. else that i know is as tall as me so it doesn't really work I don't really have anybody I can pass things back and forth. Yeah, with. no one's quite your size. Like even shirts and stuff, you can't pass those around to the other guys just because it doesn't work out. Yeah, we've got a whole group that's all varying sizes mm-hmm. for the men. So, but we'll definitely have to figure the yard sale thing out at some point because there's just so much stuff that we have put down here as like we just would rather sell some of these things and mm-hmm. and recoup what we've put into some of yeah. the stuff too because like obviously. All these things that we have that we no longer use, we paid for yeah. most of it, mm-hmm. you know? So it'll be good to be able to go through everything, purge, get rid of stuff that we don't use, don't need anymore, mm-hmm. and then just have space. Yeah. Like, we've already gone through and purged and got rid of all the junk and all the trash that got stored just because mm-hmm. you're trying to move things around quickly because people are coming over and you're trying to make everything look nice well, and you the, don't want The crazy thing, trash though, out. is like, the amount of stuff that we, like like you're saying, yeah, there's stuff that you just like, oh, well, we were getting rid of stuff, but people are coming. We don't want to have this stuff yeah. out. But then, like, the amount of stuff that was just left at our house that was junk. Yeah. Like, I cleaned out the shed recently when we redid this whole studio space. Mm-hmm. This was our basement, so there was a ton of stuff in here that wasn't ours. Yeah. 
just like random was weird stuff that was left. Pretty full. And it's like this is like this is crazy that this much stuff was left down here. Now some of it was like, you know, different building materials mm -hmm. from the house and things, but now all of that stuff had been replaced. Yeah. Recently, so it was like, well, we don't need any of these things anymore. Yeah. But. Yeah, it'll be good to be able to get rid of like just a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then also that'll help fund getting floors upstairs and mm -hmm. things like that that we need to do. Yeah, getting floors and bedding and other decor items. It's going to be the most interesting year. It's a very good year to have decided to start trying to vlog things. Yeah. I wish that I'd have been doing this really our whole marriage because there's yeah. so many big life moments like when we bought the house mm -hmm. or when we toured other houses and it didn't work out yeah. and all these different things that it would have been great to have filmed mm -hmm. or even like the day that I got licensed and like that whole waiting period yeah. of like waiting for that call and then mm -hmm. all that stuff like that would have been a fun thing to have. Waiting for license to appear. Yeah, like the day that came, I should have <laughs> recorded that. But I'm glad that we're doing it now and we're starting now because there's going to be so many things. You know, we're having our daughter for one. But then, like, the house stuff that we're about to do. Yeah. And then, like, we're already in the ministry stuff, and we've definitely recorded different aspects of that, which have been awesome. Mm -hmm. But there's just so many different things that are taking place this year that it's pretty interesting to be able to, like, actually get to document our life mm -hmm. and look at it through that lens. Yeah. So. It'll be nice to be able to go back and see all the things because I feel like we've added a lot of personality to this house and things. Like before is a pretty standard house. Like mm -hmm. the kitchen was cutesy and stuff, but we've done even more to that. And we really put our own touch on the house. And now that we're having to redo both the kids' rooms, because we had a mural painted in our son's room and that was really cute and everything when we first moved in. But now we'll be giving him a new room with new decor and everything with the little girl. So. It'll just be fun to go back and see because mm -hmm. like, I'll have to take pictures. I have to clean and purge some of the toys from our son's room so I can take pictures of what it looks like now. Yeah. That way he can go back and see <laughs> what it was uh, when he was first at this house. Yeah. I mean, like looking back at videos from when I was a kid uh, and the first house that I grew up in mm -hmm. and like. Obviously, it's just a different time. Yeah. You know, it was the 90s. And in the 90s, people were even like, you know, it's funny to look back at time and we feel like we're poor now. Mm -hmm. But like when when we were kids and it, and it wasn't even as bad when we were kids as when our parents were kids. Yeah. Like when we were kids, when you didn't have money, like you really didn't have anything. Yeah. You know, and so like the house that I grew up in, it's the 90s, but it looks like the 70s. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about like red velvet couches. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I remember that couch mm -hmm. and like the love seat. And even when we moved, that was what was in the living room for a long time. It was this like weird red corduroy velvety furniture and stuff like that. <laughs> but it was just what you had. It was given to them by yeah. somebody else. And so like, it's so funny to look back at that and then to think that like our son's going to be looking back at this like, man, look how sketchy mom and dad's house was back in the day. You know? Uh, I mean, we we're trying, but. I'm sure it's going to look like that looking back on yeah. it. Yeah. I'm proud of what we've done so far, and I'm excited to see what we do going mm -hmm. forward. No, I think it's going to turn out great with the kids' rooms and mm -hmm. things like that. So definitely, you're going to want to check out the vlog channel. We're going to be trying to record as much of this as possible. What I have learned from doing the videos is how difficult it really is. Yeah. Like, it's it's so hard to pick up the camera. Yeah. Like you want to record things, but then you realize you have to like kind of talk through what's going on. Mm -hmm. And that makes it so much more difficult to actually like record things and put a story together. And I'm learning that it's easier to put a story together the more that I do it. Mm -hmm. And just like. Because you're in that mindset. It's a lot. It's really hard to get into the mindset and be like, okay, well, I need to do this and that and everything. All right, buddy. Well, we're wrapping up the podcast, so we're almost done. All right. Well, we're going to wrap up right now. Don't knock that camera over. Step over the cord. That's what it's also going to be like. Can you imagine we were trying to do this with two? Like you're holding one and we're trying to record the podcast and oh, things gosh. like that. That'll that'll be an adventure. That's going to be something interesting. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to get one of those little things and lay her down. How many are we going to record ahead of time so that we're ready when that day comes? That's the real question. A few. <laughs> we'll have to be at least a month ahead. Yeah, because that first month, you're just in survival mode. Mm -hmm. Like, it just, that's what it is. And 
all of my mom friends had said the same thing. Like the first month, they're just surviving. Yeah. And you're just on going through such little sleep at the time and constantly feeding and changing and all this and that. And then adding a toddler and stuff on top of that. It it's gonna be an adventure, so I definitely want to have at least a month ahead. Yeah. Um, if at all possible. All right. And so we're just gonna have to prepare for that. Yeah. But I guess this is where we're gonna end this one, so that we can help our son and take care of all that stuff. Yeah. We hope that you guys like this video. We know we rambled a little bit, but that's kind of what this podcast originally was. Yeah. And we just wanted to talk about how we're having a girl and where life's taking us and all that stuff. Yeah. And so we hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to help us like, comment, subscribe, rate, all those good things mm -hmm. because they help us to reach more and more people with these podcasts, which is exactly what we want to do. Yes. And be sure to check out the vlog channel. Um, like we said, there's going to be, a, there's already a lot of great stuff out there, but there's going to be even more coming, especially if you like, DIY and renovation things and all that stuff. Um, also, be sure to come back on Monday for more God Bless Me and have a great weekend. Yeah, have a great weekend. God bless. God bless.